Hello everyone, this is Minoxen bringing you another high definition commentary of Heroes of New Earth. Uh, today we're going to be bringing you the UNGL Zowie Cup number two quarterfinals matchup of Genesis Gaming versus Online Kingdom. It's game three. Uh, if you haven't guessed by most times when it's a best of three series how you get to a game three, that means that both teams have won a game. If you want to find out which game was won and which, uh, you can go check out those games now. Uh, they should be on the channel available for viewing. Um, I'm joined with On a Prayer. How you doing, man? Doing good. Hello, everyone. Well, that was definitely an interesting last game here. We didn't do game one today, but we did do game two today, so we're fresh off of that, so we've got it all fresh in our heads. Um, they do have um, a different line out going out this time, but before we get into the game, let's go over a few interesting things here. If you enjoy the cast that you're currently watching, be sure to hit that like button. It really helps out, gets gets the um, popularity of the videos up, and gets more people to see them. Also, if you're watching this and you're not currently subscribed to youtube.com slash be sure to do so. It is, in fact, free. Um, check out the description box below for links to On a Prayer's live stream where you can watch him having some good fun on a variety of different things. Also, uh, Eclipse, the team captain for uh, Genesis Gaming's live stream link will be there, and Genesis Gaming's Facebook page. So uh, be sure to check out all those things and tell them Minoxen sent you so that way they know it was me. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's get into this game. The bands are out. Do you want to go over those On a Prayer? Yeah, sure. The Kraken was banned. Tree was banned for the second game in a row. Kraken, was he banned the first game? I don't remember him being banned. Um, no, I don't think so. Uh, Behemoth banned once again. He's, I guess he's really solid banned against push-heavy lineups that have minions, although this particular game there are no minions to summon. But, uh, yep, yeah, that aside, he's really good counter-pushing hero because, you know, you'll group up to push and then he'll just stomp all over you. So even without the minions, he's still strong. Tempest being banned after last game... Uh, was that banned over... Well, it was picked up by... Online Kingdom banned it. And yeah. it was... Uh, yeah, it was um, Genesis who picked him up as a hero. So, yeah, they were banning it against them. Or they just didn't want to see it. Yeah, although they do have a Hellbringer, which is interesting. They have, they have the Hellbringer... Hmm. Well, I guess Vindicator was banned, huh? And then they banned Tempest because they figure, well, without Vindicator, who's the, you know, the largest counter to Tempest... They were worried that they might pick it up, so they banned him. But they have Hellbringer, who's really... He's like second to Vindicator in terms of interrupting Tempest's ultimate, so I'm not entirely sure what that was about. Hmm. But re regardless, it's a fairly decent ban, especially with the current shift in the way the game's being played competitively. Plague Rider being banned, I think, third game in a row? Yeah, yeah, nobody wants to see uh, Plague. And I think if you look at his win percentage in both competitive games and non-competitive, it's it's pretty clear that he's he's just a really well-rounded hero, can keep, keep a lane to himself, keep it under control, doesn't lose it necessarily. Um, and the ultimate, if he gets the levels, then uh, he's going to be doing some great damage early game. Yeah, and as well, the same same as last game. Well, not same. Well, first game, Wild Souls banned. Last game, he wasn't. And then we saw the result of that. So this game, they're kind of like, yeah, there's a reason he should be banned, and it's not worth leaving him open to ban another hero. Yeah, that Pharaoh, was definitely the biggest part of their downfall, I yeah. think, on that. Was corrupted was corrupted banned last game? He was banned first game. I'm uh, not yeah, sure about I think they game. have been banning him every game because, like I said, you know, whenever looking at these Online Kingdom's uh, game history in their tournament matchups, they really like Corrupted Disciple. And, and me and On Prayer have had this discussion before. As far as seeing Corrupted Disciple really be that turning point in a game, I myself haven't seen it. On Prayer said it there this uh, this last, uh, I think it was game one, it was whenever he'd said that. But it's just, I don't know, I just never really see him be that huge of a part. Maybe he's that guy in the back who does all the work that nobody really gives him any credit for, but he's they, they he always gets really tanky and is uh, around well, in the team fight a while. I don't know, but um, they, they well, really you like see, him. With, with the current shift in the game, he's a lot more useful than he used to be. When the games would go longer and then other carries outshine him because he's not doing as much as they are, but because he builds, he builds tanky, he does go that route, but with... With the mid-game heroes and with the push heroes, the game ends a lot faster. There's a lot more aggression earlier on. He does shine. He's a really good mid-game hero. His damage output is huge with his level 4 conduit. True. And his... I mean, wouldn't you like to see maybe... Like, I know Puppet Master is uh, more of a late... I mean, he. I would imagine the two going toe-to-toe, -to -toe, Puppet Master probably would maybe went out, because Puppet Master has those disables and things, which makes him relevant in the mid, um, you know, the mid game there as well, and he's not horrible early game, but he does have some disables to him, mm. so, I don't but know, I just, Corrupted, I, I corrupted is like, better, though, for the mid game, because he goes in early Humble Black Legion, and he still dishes a lot of damage, so he can kind of bait things, he can kind of be more aggressive in the pushes, and allow the rest of his team to do what they need to do, 
Puppet Master does have to be a little more cautious. Like if you're pushing at a Puppet Master, you couldn't be up front. You couldn't be mispositioning, kind of bait things. You have to have teams, you know, teammates that can kind of go in there and force things to happen. Puppet Master isn't one of those heroes. You'd have to wait for someone else to do something. So uh, Corrupted is really strong in this in this situation where you have a lot of push. As for the actual pushing potential they have this game, they have Hellbringer's Malphus. Um, they have the Nymphora pod, which doesn't do as much as it used to do, but it does do a fair bit, the Volatile pod. They have, once again, they have Hammerstorm, his Galvanize... And his ultimate is really good for pushing. They don't have as heavy a push as they did last game. Torture is on Genesis's team this time, but then Genesis themselves doesn't really have. Oh, there's some. The greatest amount of pushing. Have you been paying any attention to all this chat stuff? But. <laughs> uh no. Let me see. Yeah, they've yeah. Um, been having quite the discussion. Both teams kind of um, having it here. I guess Thurg being a ringer for them, maybe not have been registered officially, um, but I don't. No, they were talking about possibly remaking, or if it's a remake thing, or there's an online kingdom person in the spec right now spectating. So I, I don't know, but I, it looks like they're gonna play it out. So we'll have to we'll have to see uh, what becomes of it there. I don't know whether Thurg is officially because you know you, we did see Dragonos. That is one thing that we haven't mentioned yet. Um, Thurg is the the brown player on the uh, Genesis team here. Um, going to be new uh, to the edition. Oh, it doesn't really much matter this third guess. He's going to be eliminated. So maybe Online Kingdom just needs to say thanks for the new player. Um, so <laughs> I don't know, but uh, yeah, as we are, we do see Ophelia, or Ophelia Andromeda uh, go down up top there to the combination. Nicely done. Yet again, it, nice use of these trees, eating that tree out so that way they can get this pathway to get a nice, good, um, unexpected initiation coming out um, with the combination here. So kudos to Online Kingdom yet again for that. Magma's sitting here middle, waiting patiently, hoping to be able to get something off on this Online Kingdom setup. But is that a ward for... Oh, that is a ward for Online Kingdom. Watching for the roaming Magmus. As top, we're going to see Silhouette go down. So already, Online Kingdom off to a stellar start here. Um, taking down this top lane with tri-lane versus the dual, dual lane. Yeah. So they really... I think that they need to just go ahead and... Um, think about doing something different here i mean what do you, what do you feel on this because yeah. they're not going to win this silhouette. situation so it was pretty dumb they're not gonna lie she tried to use her tree grapple so she'd be like hey if you guys jump me i'll be able to sky dance away but she was comboed and stunned to the point where she couldn't even use it so it was i mean that was really unnecessary much why she ran up too far either i mean her auto attacks a lot longer than her positioning so it was a little weird yeah not the best um Play there. That is, of course, again, this Yozer uh, is the brother brother of Zaxarok. Um, I think that he's typically their solo, I think is what I'd heard um, the team owner, uh, John Hatch, was talking about, said that Yozer is one of their solos, or um, it might be his brother. I get the two confused at times. But yeah. um, uh, I don't know. Uh, Yozer was not having the best game last time. He was on Kraken. Maybe Kraken, we were discussing that in between here, maybe Kraken was a pick to prevent Online Kingdom from getting it. Um, since they know that they play with him, and it's a good pick, but... Action at bottom. Yeah, bottom, we see a level 1 Magmus eating a lot of damage from the Hellfire here. Um, Hellfire being leveled up to level 2 versus the Wall of Mummies right now. Um, a good... Uh, I've been seeing that quite a bit there. Who was it that I was watching? I think it was Swindle I was uh, watching, and he was discussing the, the damage output to where it's kind of like a torturer maneuver, mm -hmm. to where if it's the only yeah. thing it's going to be, it's like 900 damage or something. I it's can't huge. remember what it was, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's a it's, significant mm. number. Plus stuns, yeah. so... As he's actually, what's Magmus? Magmus didn't realize. Oh. Mag Magmus, Magmus not realizing looks like because he waited long time. And that long time gonna cost him pretty close there. He gets to 10 HP. Oh man, if Pharaoh can manage to time this on his next missile, that's gonna be pretty huge. We'll just have to see if that magic yeah. missile comes in there and lands the right as he gets to down base. really long. On level one, tormented soul. But he's got twelve. Yeah, I don't know. I think that yeah, Magmus might be back in base by that point. And he has the um. Yeah, he's not killing the blight. Him. Yep, that will not be enough anymore. And it's finally. I don't think he's even gonna throw it out of. Yeah, he's nah, not. save his mana. He's heading bottom to try to cut off this. Yep, they're trying to cover both runes. I'm not sure. Well, I am sure why. They when it's about to spawn, even if you have coverage, to deny. They don't want to give Hag the rune since she's so good with the runes. You know, she can gank real easily with her blink if she gets a decent rune as she's going to harass Hellbringer in the middle lane. 
But between her ass, he's yeah, that's not a real good trade. Yeah, As for sure. Lane, Ouch. Oh, nice job over there. They didn't want to dive, and Silhouette did a nice job of throwing out her little trigger apple in case they were going to go on it. But yeah, nice job. They're gonna. I'm assuming they're going to continually do that. If they deny Hag the runes, then she's going to be kind of useless because uh, one verse one in the middle lane. If Hellbringer, Hellbringer definitely out damages Hag, and he out harasses her. She's real squishy. I like seeing Hellbringer also being put into this solo situation instead of being stuck as, you know, a mild support there to where he's not really going to be too effective as, oh, Doom Driver getting caught out with the hammer. A nice Nymph Zeal to barely catch him along the edge. Doing some good damage there, but not going to be able to follow it up. A silhouette throws out the uh, tree grapple to follow um, and stun anyone if they happen to come up through, but uh, yeah. Hammerstorm going to be forced to go ahead and wander back off, and maybe, no, he's going to loop back around here and try and try again. Oh, wow, middle lane. Wow, that is a dive. Uh, yeah. Hellbringer well, Ultimate. Malphys dive, yeah. Uh, Hellbringer Ultimate being enough there to finish off uh, Wretched Hag along with the poison, I would imagine. So, uh, this is the first game, uh, I'm going to say here, since we don't really see Genesis um, all that often. I mean, they are a newer team. They were discussing that in the chat and stuff there. Um, Eclipse. This is the first time I'm going to see Eclipse going middle. Um, <laughs> Yozer, Silhouette, they're going to be taking a ton of damage, going to narrowly get out. Um, unfortunately, Magnus still level this, one. This is having not done good. His, what are they doing? Why? Have, yeah, I mean, they, once like, silhouette, silhouette got out, why yeah. would you go so far in with Magnus? And yeah, it was. They they have no damage to support that. I'm not. That was that was real iffy. Yeah, that was definitely a huge. Maybe huge they thought she was gonna pot up and oh. do something. I mean, she had no reach and. Malphus being allowed to be coined middle as well. Nice. That's interesting. What is it, 100 gold bounty? Yeah, 100, gra 100 gold. That ain't too shabby. And allowing him to go ahead and pick that up uh, should help him. And we're going to finally go ahead and see. I think this was a little late in the making, this tri-lane coming up here finally. Because yeah. um, it's it's a little too The thing is, I'm not, I'm not sure point. what they wanted, honestly. Torture against Pharaoh. Torture owns so hard. I mean, if Pharaoh tries to catch him off alone between Hellfire and the Impale, I mean... Yeah, Impale will win. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, seriously. And then the nuking power just coming straight out. Torture is just fine. I'm not sure why they needed to give him the advantage. Like, I think they, wanted they to give him had him power. down there because they were wanting to see if the trialing was going to go up against that. And then maybe... I just think that they didn't shift quickly enough. And then they, they brought Magmus middle trying to set something up there. But nice ward placement from the Legion to protect that middle. And Hellbringer never stepped himself out too far to get himself out of position. Yeah. So, um, I honestly can't. I can't know. It's like you're saying. It's a little questionable. The movement isn't isn't the best. I guess the decision making. Maybe it's like you're saying. They're a fairly new team. I'm not sure about their overall experience in competitive play. I know these um, the players themselves have been around for quite a while. But as far as scrimming and you know to get to get that experience, I'm not sure how much they they've had of that. I'm not you know. I'm not yeah, really I mean, one to discuss it because I don't know myself. I'm just saying it looks that way because remake. they they haven't done the adjustments yeah that's that's clearly <laughs> yeah he's clearly doing that to try to shove it in their face i think wait wait, wait what what that would be weird i thought he was doing Ow. it just <laughs> <laughs> i thought he was doing it just to make fun of them but yeah i think so but um unfortunately oh look at that there we go hammerstorm gonna go down magma's gonna go down as well the volatile pod nearly taking down andromeda as uh, it's going to come down to Silhouette versus this Corrupted Disciple. Um, I'm really, I don't know, I really like the, the tri-lane setup from the Legion. Oh, nice use of the uh, Electric Tide there to get that little bit of extra damage off onto Yozer. But, I, I don't know, I think that really this top lane situation has already had this, the the deal has been sealed. Um, yeah, this well, top lane is already lost no for the Hellborn, and I guess, They're, yeah. They wow. can't kill bottom lane, like, Pharaoh's not killable. The only thing is... They they can win if Torture decides to go and help top lane. He can turn the whole thing around, but it looks like he's not going to. Oh, like, and he's it, not going to get a chance. It's Hammerstorm yeah. coming in here to follow up the ultimate from Pharaoh. Nice bit of creeps coming around. Nice stun, though, from Torture to try and delay him. They did happen to sit together for that as Torture going to be forced to try and take him down, but no, not able to get it all off in time. Uh, gets them both dangerously low. That could have been horribly wrong for the, the Legion if they'd have both died. But uh, they do, in fact, take down Torture, and you know what? They're locking down these lanes. Middle's already pretty much been lost. Top has been lost. Bottom's not in good shape. Now pretty much uh, in the downhill slope. Uh, Corrupted Disciple maybe going to go down top here. Finally, since they're getting some people together, they're, uh, they were waiting to let Silhouette get that kill. Um, and Nymphora... 
barely going to get out. No, she's not, as the blink from Wretched Hag proving uh, more than enough to finish the the, uh, <laughs> the kill. So, yeah, I, I don't know. Right as I'm about ready to write this off here and say that uh, we're looking at uh, Genesis Gaming on a very slippery slope downhill uh, in this Game 3, um, they do manage to rally, and they come up top here after the, the, the gank down at bottom. They knew that they weren't going to have the support coming in from bottom, so... Uh, a, a nice little turn. It doesn't uh, doesn't definitely give them the game back, but um, narrowed the gap a little. Yeah. Well, they have the benefit of torture is denying Hani quite a bit. You know, sitting in the bottom lane, he can't farm at all. That's that's all good and well. But oh, middle lane. There we go. Did not deny it. I'm oh. gonna turn it around. Yes, they will. As Magmus gonna walk into the Nymph for a Zeal, getting stunned there. Very unfortunate. Now he's gonna try and get out of there in Viz, but the Pharaoh, <laughs> the rocket coming out, gonna be enough. Tormented Soul finishing the job. A nice ultimate from Pharaoh. Hani proving his metal on this Pharaoh now. Uh, game one, we saw Hani on Pharaoh was not impressed whatsoever with these ultimates that he was throwing out. Um, you know, mostly all defensive ultimates, but he's, uh, you know, that right there is what you absolutely need to do as Pharaoh. That was a nice long bomb ultimate. Went about as far as it can and uh, landed it. Got him a kill sealed in the bag. Um, so nicely played there. I guess that's a three kill for none exchange going out for Online Kingdom. Yeah. Um, I have to say, I'm not sure how Torture is played. I know Torture farms quite a bit, and he's played that way, but they, they really need him to show up in team fights and turn things around. It, 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 mm, Hag did a really good job. He came top, he turned things around a bit. But right now, Torture being in the bottom lane and farming is not going to seal a deal for his team. By the time he shows up, it's going to be too late. Because Pharaoh, like you just saw, I mean, he did work bottom, he got the kill on Torture, then he showed up mid, he helped get them, you know, another kill. They're actually trying to set something up on bottom on Pharaoh once again, but he's really hard to kill. I mean, with his ultimate up, he's nearly impossible because he can kind of stun you mummy wall and then get away easily enough. It is not up yet, but it's almost up. I'm not sure he's the right person to set up a kill on because shutting him down this early in the game doesn't really matter. And yeah, if you're wanting to shut anyone down, they need to do something about this tri-lane situation again. I mean, them yeah, coming up and getting the kill say. the kill done there, that that was all nice and good. Like you said, Wretched Hag did a great job coming up and, and you know having the versatility to leave lane to do that. Mm -hmm. But this Pharaoh's just one man, and they're actually leaving this top lane vulnerable as Silhouette going to be going down here. Bam! There's the uh, the Hammerstorm Thump going to be enough to finish the job, and they pick up the majority of that creep camp. So, uh, Really nice not... wording. I wanted to mention it earlier on because I saw some really nice words from mm. Online Kingdom. From Overpow... Oh, uh, Nymphora is going to ultimate. Oh, here we go. As the ultimate does come in, a little bit of a fight going on in the river. Not sure if anything's going to come of it. They are going to spot this Magmus off by himself. The stun coming out right as he's trying to disjoint it. The fair ultimate does miss, thanks to the nice um, stun out there from Magmus, but not going to be able to do anything. Unfortunately, the Hellborn was too scattered. Um, you know, Wretched was on her way down, encountered Hellbringer. Hellbringer got the haste. And, uh, yeah, yeah, just not... And another downside of trying to gank the wrong lane is the fact that doing so allows Nymphora to come in and help them out. If you gank the lane that Nymphora is in, you know where she's going to be. You have everything set out for you, but it, it really is a mistake. I'm not sure why they're deciding to go... Like, they're leaving Corrupted to farm to try yeah, to... Yeah, and Corrupted's like, level 8 a versus farm. level 6 silhouette, so yeah. I don't... Yeah. They're trying to gimp a Pharaoh's farm as opposed to Corrupted, and that's that's real iffy. Like, he's going to be impossible to kill. He gets plus 200 damage from level 4 Corrupted Conduit. Uh, it's... I, I, don't, I don't understand, honestly, like, their, their thinking. I, I don't know. Like, in their position, it's hard to know exactly what they're hoping for when they do this sort of thing. Because Nymphora can come in with a person and help them out instantly. They don't even have to TP. And Pharaoh's a really hard person to gank because he, he has a lot of utility in escaping ganks with his mummy wall and ultimate and his mini stuns. It's just real difficult to even go after him and it's not worth the effort as opposed to killing Chilene. Like They got the tower in the meantime, they didn't focus on the lane as, yep, oh. Silhouette's in a bit of trouble. Yeah, she comes out thinking that she's going to be able to take down a Corrupted Disciple who has a level advantage. Corrupted has a nice damage... <laughs> Yeah. I was going to say, he has 10 charges of his thing on him there. Bottom, we're going to see uh, Eclipse manage to pick up uh, Hammerstorm, but again, I don't think this is going to end well for him there. Magmus going down once again. Torture getting some nice damage output. Takes, gets him a double tap, but Hellbringer 
Coming in, trying to finish up the job here. Is Wretched Hag going to be able to save the day? I don't think so. They will be able to escape, though, uh, picking up a little bit of farm on their way out. So, uh, wow. I mean, the experience lead is pretty still strongly in Online Kingdom. You know, for 14 minutes into the game, to have a 7,000... Or with 7,000 gold lead and a 4,000 experience lead. That's that's a pretty nice early perk uh, for having really not really huge tower advantage. I guess they got two down. Well, yeah, uh, two for so, none. Yep, that's yeah. I guess that's where the gold's coming from for a big part of it. But I don't know. I just uh, I think some of the decision making here that's been done for Gem Genesis early on uh, set them up to give Online Kingdom a pretty good early advantage, and um, the the shift was done a little too late. And then choosing again to go for Pharaoh instead of keeping this top lane locked down, which they were losing. Because yeah. if they're hoping to be able to set this silhouette for late game, there's the combination going out again. She will be able to escape with the use of her. Oh no, she's not. Nymphora went around the back. Uh, nicely done from Nymphora. Divide and conquer. Um, comes around there unexpectedly from the side, and it's going to be enough to get the kill. Wretched Hagby forced to back out. Magmus now going to be going down. Oh, just so, so unfortunate from this. Uh, this Hellborn team, they're getting the lineup that they do. Hani picking off uh, Thurg, that Andromeda going down so quick. As uh, yeah, this is this is starting to get definitely a little skewed into Online Kingdom's favor. Um, hopefully, we can see some kind of a good comeback here from uh, Genesis, but they they're just they don't have the I don't know they just don't have the communication thing going down for them this turn. And Online Kingdom definitely on the top of their game right now. I mean they're. They're performing really well. They're getting all the combinations off. They're getting the um, the communication, the support where it needs to be, when it needs to be there, and just having really good map control right now. I mean, look at this. We've got uh, Hammerstorm coming in. A nice Pharaoh st uh, Tortured Soul going to land as well. Wretched Hag going to be able to get out if you're in most likelihood. Should be able to blink out. Oh, my God. Please don't. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> nice try. That was actually really well played there. Nymphora just guesstimating. If I was a wretched hag running away in Viz, where would I be? And I uh, was pretty damn close. <laughs> unfortunately, wretched hag did back just a little bit. So, uh, nice try, but unfortunately going to pay, uh, pay for it there. Yep. Definitely showing his map awareness or, you know. Yeah, let's... who do we have? Aki? Oh, okay, Aki. Yep, nice, nice play from Aki there. Just looking at the items, they I think that's what you're saying. The only one on their team capable of really turning things around right now is Torture. Hag, I suppose, as well, can do stuff. But Hag, they kept the runes from her. She didn't really have the ability to move around. She did manage to help top lane when she, you know, when she, I think she was level 7 or so. But before then, she was really just sitting in middle lane, losing pretty much to Albringer, who, mm -hmm. like I said, has the greater harass, his, his death boil and... A, course the fact that he has his life void he can kind of tank things she's not the tankiest of heroes either so she's she was going to lose that matchup there was no way she was going to win without a gank they did try to come and help her did oh nice baiting going out from online kingdom they're using the blink to come in with corrupted disciple by himself they're like hey only one hero's here we'll just go in and keep on it as wretched hag going to go down to the poison very unfortunate there uh andromeda going down as well and now torturer was sitting at the tower there, did, did not want to give up the kills as Nymphora may be going to go down, but, you know, a, a near yeah. genocide in exchange for one hero, really. Yeah, like we were both try, trying to say, they don't have the damage right now to really turn things around. Pharaoh has his steam boots already, he has Ring of the Teacher, I assume he's going to go for Helm of the Black Legion, or he's going to go for against, well, right now he's only worried about Torture and Hag, so he may be going Shaman's Headdress before Helm of the Black Legion even. I would, both of them are fine, but they don't have the damage to take them out. Even now, Corrupt Disciple's too big. Hammerstorm, he's, he's tanky enough as it is. He doesn't have anything. He has Striders and a power supply, so he doesn't have any defensive items, but he's still hard to take out, and focusing him definitely is not something they want to do. Wow, Hellbringer <laughs> has Shaman's Hedris and Steam Boots. He's farming, what is he at? Yeah, good question. I haven't checked that all game. Wow, 432 gold per minute on this Corrupted Disciple. Magmus trying to get the ultimate out there. Not going to really matter. Uh, deciding to channel that was, mm. I don't know. 370 GPM on, on Hellbringer. Hellbringer. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Big, they big money. They have no damage. All their damage output right now is coming from magic. And yeah, Hellbringer is already covered on that end. And I was going to uh, say, and uh, the magic 
you know that that's only good if they get the early you know levels and yeah. things like wretched is huge to have early levels on and she lost middle she's not doing really all that well uh, yeah. doesn't have her level two ultimate yet magmus is but really far behind he's level six um that's you know he's he spent so much time roaming andromeda also in the same situation i guess she's just low because she was sitting back trying to let silhouette get some farm but uh not looking really great here. Nice, good um, gold spread for the Legion team. Um, you know, may focusing the gold on where they really need it. Hammerstorm could use some more gold, but he's not necessary uh, to have that gold. But with with where they got it right now, I think Corrupted Disciple having the good farm that he does, um, they're they're looking good for this late game. Yeah, I just um, I don't know how they're gonna actually out damage them. That's the only thing. Like I see them in there's really no way to recover from this sort of deficit. On heroes that require early game advantage and early aggression, if you've managed to fall behind, there's really no way to recover because you are you can farm and try to get items, but the way this game is going and the way it's being played, they're just being pushed on and they're being, you know, there's constant aggression and they're constantly being jumped, especially with the Nymphora, as we now see Magnus in trouble. Yeah, oh, and Magnus... Gonna stun, why is he doing... He's, it's like the third or fourth time he's... Yeah. He's gone in when he should have used it to escape. I guess that they saw that there was several heroes. They only saw three, and they had backup coming, so they were hoping to be able to get something done with it. And it might end up panning out. They might get the second kill here, but they do lose Magnus, and uh, we're going to have someone go down middle. We have Torturer go down middle to the combination of Pharaoh and... Uh, who's the orange one running away there? Corrupted, of course. Uh, corrupted actually becoming an ultimate warrior now. So uh, kudos to him. As his, let's look at the gold farm here. We're 437 still on that corrupted disciple. Uh, a nearly 10,000 gold deficit um, for the Hellborn, and a nearly 9,000. Well, I guess it's closer to 8,000 experience deficit. And when you start to get numbers like that this early on in the game, when we're at the 20 minute mark, it's definitely for an early early spec team. You're you're going to have a really hard time coming back here. I think Online Kingdom is going to have to make a really huge mistake in order for um, Genesis to get back in this and have a chance. Yeah, exactly. That, that's what I'm trying to say. There's really no way to recover, especially when your DPS isn't doing well themselves. Level 11 silhouette with no significant item at nearly 22 minutes into the game. It's like what, and Hammerstorm now has a portal key picked up. It's just re really difficult. There's no... There's no time to sit back and farm if you can't manage to even things out earlier on in the game. It snowballs incredibly fast because they'll just continually push on you. And there's really good wards going on. We see a ward from Ake right over there. Going to spot the whole... S yep, there we go, in fact. That will be enough. Is, uh, oh, Aki oh, oh. oh, did he hit this max range or what? Yeah, yeah it was max range. Oh, that is unfortunate because it looked like it was dead center, right? Going to hit, but it maxed out there. So, wow. That would have been a, a nice grab. I think they would have been able to follow that up pretty well. They're probably going to wait. They're going to sit back and see what happens. They're going to wait for Pharaoh's ultimate to come off cooldown. It's not the longest amount of time, so they're just yeah, going to see 35 what... 35 seconds now. Yeah, see what develops. Shrunken had picked up on Corrupted as well. So, you have Corrupted, who was in the tri lane against Silhouette, and you look at their individual <laughs> item pickups and you're like, hmm, I, won I wonder what's going on over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's just like they had a fairly good try lane had they had Magnus to help out earlier on. It, they, they, had, they had stuff going for them. It's just they did have the longer... Oh, oh yeah. Was, yeah. That's going to be unfortunate as we do go and see the forced pop on the torturer uh, shrunken head gonna go ahead and make them back up, but Magmus once again getting caught out, being grabbed there, uh, and uh, Wretched Hag trying to get some damage done, but I don't know if they're gonna be able to pull out of this. All right, they do get the Nymphora kill, but um, uh, all of the Legion team still in pretty respectable health. I mean, Corrupted Disciple looks like he's low, but he's still sitting at 800 HP, and uh, for him to be at this point, you know, having 1700 HP, he's just, you know, like we were saying early on. He's just a tanky hero who has a good, you know, good mid-game presence. And since we're kind of entering into that realm, he's got really good farm so far. He's he was at 430, now he's at 450. So, uh, yeah, I'm I'm really thinking things are going to start to snowball here unless we can see a beautiful team fight go out for the Hellborn, where they can just get really um, 
really good luck coming out. Yeah. Get a Magnus so, ultimate, get a, a... Yeah, what they want is torture, stunning, hag, following up, and then Magnus stunning in with his ultimate, and that, that'd be impressive, but after all that, I don't imagine that they're gonna be, like, anything under, maybe, like, a little bit below half health. Yeah, I mean, Magnus right now still only at level 7. Uh, they are going to force another team fight here. Don't really know if this is what they ought to do. They probably should have fought at the tower. As Torture may be going to be picked off. Corrupted Disciple trying to run him down at the last second here. Will he be able to catch up? There we go. The prox from the ultimate is going to hit him. And that will be enough to finish that. Pharaoh dodging nicely here. Going to escape with less than 100 HP. And uh, what do we got going here? Oh, Wretched Hag was hunting him down. Going to be forced to blink into the woods to hide. Magmus deciding to jet in once again. <laughs> I don't know. To... I yeah, that's third third or fourth time that that's happened. Although they did manage to get a kill out of that, and Yozer actually is on a serial killer streak. Although that seems yeah. That's gonna come to <laughs> was that? Is that pro... that was indeed that was. Uh, Prodex picked up yep. on Hellbringer, nicely done. As uh... Pharaoh, who does have in fact have a Helm of the Black Legion tanks that wretched hag just fine and there we go so this, this is what i'm saying just the disadvantage they have in terms of items and tank ability yep absolutely as we're 25 minutes into this game we are currently seeing a 16 almost 17,000 gold deficit uh for the hellborn and a 12 almost 13,000 experience lead uh for the hellborn or for the the legion so um very, very hard for them to overcome right now. But, I mean, it's one game to one. And this is your chance to move on to the semifinals. I, you can't say anything to, you know, Genesis Gaming for trying here. Trying to stick in. You know, this is their, this is, wow. I think, a major turn. Yeah, I see him get blew up. <laughs> yeah, I had the camera on him. Driven but into the ground. Absolutely. Um, but, I mean, you can't blame him for trying here and trying to stick around, hoping, you know, with all all desperation that something's going to happen to turn this mm -hmm. around but it, it's not even like that but it, it's, it's just they it seems like they need the competitive experience anyway so it's just just for that just stick around play it out see what happens you know see what you can work out see where you need to yeah be able to know, watch the replay your, look at see, yeah. you know where your you know your your decision making goes wrong and that kind of stuff so yeah, I, I don't think that I've ever seen. Wow, wow. What nice nice escape mode. Uh <laughs> Yeah, but he could have just thrown out his <laughs> He could have just done that sooner. I mean, yeah, he if he had done it, I don't know if it just time. came off cooldown or what, but that, that was... may have been because he was definitely in range before then. As looks like we have. <laughs> 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 Did that? Was that the Prodex? Yeah. <laughs> Vaporating that poor uh, wretched hag. As we're gonna see Magmus once again diving behind enemy lines here to um to no avail. Uh, Doom think, Driver definitely not having I think the he best swapped of games. Him and it kind of moved his cursor because he blinked back. Oh, I was... see. Yeah. As yeah, torture going down yes. once again. Here. I was just like, huh? He swapped him away, and then he blinked back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, as we're now 32 to 14 in the hero kill uh, count so far. Yeah, 235 GPM on silhouette, uh, and then you have magics who's on yeah, 500 plus. Yeah, 500 gold per minute on a corrupted disciple this early on in the game. That's that's telling. Um, yeah, this and this really is why don't... he's really strong. If you have early game aggression, you have push team, he's really strong. I mean, 200 damage that he absorbs when he has his conduit going off. And, of course, in the mid game, when he's really strong, there's no, there's no shrunken heads, so there's no way of them to, you know, remove it. So if, if you, like, later game, if they have shrunkens and he puts it on them, they just, you know, shrug it off, and then he doesn't have anything because he builds tank and he has no real damage of his own. But if you're pushing mid-game and they don't have Shrunkens yet, then he's able to absorb all that damage and he's able to do a lot. How are you feeling about this Thurg, um, I guess, coming in for uh, Dragonos, uh, who was their I, designated I, ward mule and um, you oh, know, basically wow, support player? As there's a swap <laughs> nice from Andromeda. Swap yeah, it's, uh, swapping roles there as now he's the trapped one. Uh, I'm not sure that they're going to be able to do much here. They do get the Hammerstorm kill. Are they going to be able to follow it up? The TP... <laughs> Uh, from Pharaoh being interrupted. Oh no, it was it was Andromeda getting away as uh, yeah, Pharaoh being away. forced to to have to evacuate here. But um, I mean that was a nice little thing there. But we're still looking at twenty one thousand gold and seventeen thousand. But back to where I was talking. Um, third coming in here and replacing Dragonos. I don't know. I, I Dragonos really seemed to be really active on the ward situation. I haven't seen quite as many wards coming out from Thurg 
And um, I guess the decision making, I mean, he's an Andromeda, so I can't really judge that. But, um, or reason why Dragonos was replaced in this particular match, which we saw discussed in the very beginning here, as they're going to try and do Congor, but, you know, like you said, they just don't have the damage oh, right now. Oh, wow. Oh, God. <laughs> that, that nearly solo killed him. Level 4 Codex Jeez. nearly one-shot the Andromeda. He needs it level 5. That, that's obviously the problem. Yeah, I mean, come on. All right, so I'm going to say it's not an accurate assessment of how well Third can perform. They had a really rough time in a trialing versus two situation. Yeah, he got he was the very first. He was bloodlusted too, wasn't he, from yeah. that, that nice yeah, little was. cut that they had made through there to so, get that. So. All things, oh, wow, <laughs> we actually have a nice stun. Yeah, that was a nice stun as they're going to try and come back in here and prevent this from going down. Magmus going down very quickly. Will the Congor token be picked up by the Hellborn? No, it is not. Uh, the Hellbringer actually managing to pick that up. A valiant effort. As Silhouette going to be spotted on occasion here. Going to be enough. <laughs> the Pharaoh Ultimate, uh, maybe not necessary, but that's... What do you mean? Uh, corrupted Disciple through his ultimate, or through his um, uh, electric tide out. That was going to finish the job on Silhouette. Yeah but, yeah, but it's necessary. Oh, yeah. I mean, it got him a kill, so absolutely necessary. Yeah, it's not an accurate assessment of how well Thur can perform because, yeah, like I just said, not an even... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> automatically at a big deficit there. So, you know, he didn't have the gold uh, mm -hmm. that, you know, that Dragonos did in the other game to be able to keep the warding up. They really were just kind of losing right from the beginning there in that top, that top lane situation. So him being stuck as the primary support and uh, Magmus, you know, being forced to roam so much um, left them out in the early yeah. game. So... Uh, With them being such a new team, it's hard to say whether or not it's... That it's they're not the as team good, swap or up or what, just, yeah. Yeah, or if it's... Just the synergy and their experience isn't there. <laughs> As oh my, will he? Are you? You're watching this. Yeah, he's staying after game for a little bit of fun here. Uh, <laughs> Isaac <laughs> Juton, um, having some fun here, trying to pick off as many. How many Hellborn, <laughs> Hellborn can I pick off before I die? Yeah. As uh, that's going to be a fun game to see play out. Going to take down this Andromeda and also take down Silhouette. I really enjoy the the new British um, yeah. uh, announcer there as well. So. Wow, very, very well played here from Online Kingdom. Can't take anything away from them. They took the last two games. Um, you know, there was a good fight in game two. I really well enjoyed seeing that. Would have liked to have seen another good back and forth game like in game two or even game one. Um, but uh, unfortunately, Genesis Gaming going to be eliminated from the tournament here. Congratulations to uh, Online Kingdom, but well earned as well as they just performed. You know, after game one, they kind of got their stuff together. They really uh, performed well as a team and. Um, so kudos to them and congratulations in moving on. Yep, definitely fun series to watch. I, I hope we get a chance to see this Genesis team in future. I think they're competing in another tournament actually currently, the Heaven something, or but uh, we'll have to see if I can find any of those games or if they're performing well or yeah. if they've been be interesting or what, because but. all these players haven't really been on a team yet. They're not really ones that have been around. So if anything, just for the fact that we get to see new players and new team. Just, you know, see if they can make an impact, see if they can actually prove that, you know, it's not just the same old ones over and over. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, it was, there was this poll on the, I think it's the Genesis Facebook page, you know, they were asking, would you rather see Angry Testy or Chew be added to uh, Genesis Gaming? And um, one person actually came on there and said, you know, I'd rather see someone else be brought to, you know, Chew or Angry Testy's level of fame you know, instead of having one of those people being snagged and dragged onto the team, but, um, so, yeah, curious to see what comes of this team here, definitely well played by Online Kingdom, they're, they're uh, the team to beat besides MSI, MSI already being eliminated in this tournament by some, uh, lesser team, and, uh, in this, uh, tournament also, the, the people that eliminated them, I think it was Adon, have already been eliminated once again by Cats, so, uh, look forward to see, I think it's this coming Tuesday, is the next, uh, is the semifinals, and then Thursday being the finals, so, have to see how this uh, online kingdom pairs up here. Uh, since MSI is already out of the picture, see how they perform against other folks. Yeah, but definitely be interesting to see. Um, MSI being knocked out is, I guess, there's always going to be some people that's going to say, oh, Adon's amazing. But yeah, I think we discussed it already. It's just, it may have been a fluke, it may not have been. But regardless, it's nice to see a team that hasn't been beaten in a real long time to get beat, even if it was a fluke. 
Yeah. So, I mean, but, and then it's the same thing with Online Kingdom here. You know, they are a really talented team. Maybe they didn't mm-hmm. have the best game one. It was nice to see someone come in and shake it up a little bit. So uh, be sure to keep an eye on Genesis Gaming in the future and um, definitely and really enjoy watching Eclipse play. Didn't have the best Wretched Hag game, but I really love his Gladiator. Look forward to seeing more of that in the future. Um, like to see him more competitively played consistently. Um, so, yeah, thank you all for watching. This is the UNGL Zowie Cup number two quarterfinals matchup. Online Kingdom is your winner in this best of three series. Thank you once again to Honor Prayer for joining me, and we will catch you guys next time.